And welcome to the OKD Working Group Docs subgroup meeting for the 19th of October. And I just put the meeting notes uh, in the chat for folks that don't have it. And um, anything you want to change on the agenda, don't forget to put your name in the attendance, uh, Michael and Bruce, that way folks know that. You are here. All right. Anything we need to add or change uh, in terms of the agenda? Okay. Well, then let's jump into it. Uh, no update on the charter yet. I was working on the video stuff, so I haven't. Taking a look at harder stuff yet. Uh, beta site, Brian. Um, unfortunately, no real progress. Um, I was hoping Diane was going to be here to see if she could prod. Um, we're just waiting for the DNS entry. Everything else has been done. Um, <clears throat> it's all been migrated, tidied up all the all the branches. And switched all of the automation onto the main branch, renamed the master domain. So everything's done. We're just waiting for the um, the switchover of DNS. Um, a couple of other things that have happened though since last call. We've integrated the um, virtualization working group. Um, Sandro decided to remove the the um, media sort of ticker and um, they still have the links there but um i didn't see that was a reason not to integrate so that's now been integrated um sandra also helped upgrade the automation so it now does a build so if you've got a spell check or a link error you get notified immediately that you create the pull request rather than when you actually do the pull when you actually do the merge which obviously is is a help um so that's that's really it. Okay. And uh, see here, moving on. Uh, we'll be reworking the install and the README uh, after the beta site goes prod. Um, inclusive language update that'll be addressed uh, when beta site goes prod. Um, on hold until the beta site goes prod is creating a build doc outline for Vadim. Um, is basically that'll be sorting through several documents all at once. Uh, upgrade path notifications. Um, there's yeah, I think the that's what's actually new a stale item mostly. Yeah, I think it uh, is. Yeah. Like most of those things in there are uh, sort of very old, and we talked about them. Yeah, as much as we're going to. That out. Um. Did anyone have a chance to look at the code of conduct yet? Uh, I had a read through of it. Um, I guess my, my idea is that uh, it's reasonable if the people that are implementing it are reasonable. Mm, right. Uh, you know, the, as with many of those things, uh, some of the terms can be problematic when interpreted by problematic people. Sure. So, Accurate. Yeah, but uh, so then the question is, do we do we need to? I mean, I'm happy to go with it the way it is. Uh, it's better than uh, than many uh, that I've seen. Uh, so I will let others decide whether or not we need to uh, wordsmith it, or if we can just go with it. Yeah. Do uh, is it ethical to just do that straight lift and shift like that? Or should uh, Diane seems I to go think in so and because They've done it before that way, actually, on a couple other types of things. So, like the the charter is actually sort of a lift and shift with a few modifications from I think CNCF stuff. Um, and so this, yeah, I mean, she she was under the impression that it would be fine, and she knows that the Ansible folks ran this through a lawyer. Um, even if it even if it weren't and we had to do lots of wordsmithing or copy and paste, 
do people generally think it's, I mean, we can bring this to the larger group, but is there anything that you would strike out? Yes. And this well, and I, folks should feel open in this conversation. To, if you right, yeah, I guess, I guess my only concern is really under the anti-harassment policy where it talks about offensive comments. Um, and there is very little these days that anybody can say that somebody won't take as offensive. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, especially if it's offensive um, from the standpoint of the offended and intent is irrelevant. Yeah, I will be honest that I've I've actually been um, concerned about the, the the trend towards intent not mattering. Um, I mean, the one comment I would say about that that age it says <clears throat> offensive comments related to gender, but then goes and lists things such as age and physical appearance, which I'm not. I don't really associate it with gender. If, if, I, if I'm being ageist, it, it's not related to a gender. It's, it's related well, no, to no, no, no. There's a comma. Well, no, there. There's a comma there, right? Okay, sorry. Yeah. 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 I, I just sort of the way I, I read yeah. that, it was sort of like. Right. Um, um, I guess I put the bracket in the wrong place here. Yeah. I think it covers us, and I, as, as Bruce says, I think we can, if somebody is being particularly troublesome, we can use it to resolve it, and we can point people at it, but even if they're not, as I said, I think this is also a cultural thing, um, as you travel around the world, what one culture may find offensive, another one may not. <clears throat> But I mean, if, if someone comes, say to Jamie and said, look, I don't feel comfortable attending these meetings anymore because I'm feeling that I'm being bullied or whatever, then this gives Jamie something to sort of point at and say to whoever was being, not not knowingly being sort of um, bullying, just sort of calm it down, just think of other people's cultures. Uh, but as, as with all, with all these things, I, I think it does have to be handled with common sense. Um, Do, let me ask So I, I'd be happy to take this as is. Mm -hmm. Would folks be comfortable if we added a sentence that said something about um, mediation? As opposed to just... Mm -hmm. Well, I, guess, I know that complicates it. I know that adds complications. Right. Like I would be happy with the uh, what used to be called the reasonable man standard. I guess we could call it reasonable person standard. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, mm -hmm. But in, in other words, what is offensive is what would be offensive to a, a reasonable person. I, I just, my my the definition reason I'm which, saying what I'm yes. saying is that... Well, the definition of which I, I, I guess is... Uh, you know, I'm happy to go with the English common law on that one. <laughs> so I guess my concern is that um, if someone says something that's offensive to someone, and maybe they slip up and do it again, this basically says you have the right to to kick them out or whatever. But it there's nothing here that says basic that lays the groundwork for a mediation between two people who are having conflict. That's that's the only concern that I have is that it, it's basically like you're in or you're out. So and maybe that's fine for people. But I've 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 been on a lot of different boards and committees and stuff like that. And sometimes conflict is a little bit more. Um, but it's not as black and white as someone said something that everyone agrees is offensive and they stop and. You know what I mean? Like there's often when it happens, there's it's a little more nuanced. But, but I, you know, that's I, I, not. Yeah. I mean, I, I, again, reading this, I would say if a participant engages in harassing behavior, the meeting organizers may take any action they deem appropriate. So I think we do have a general get out clause that yeah. if you think that somebody wasn't intentionally being offensive, 
It may just be their general language. They may think is okay, but someone else may not think okay. It allows you to maybe open a chat message and say that, that that may not have been the best choice of words or something, and you can resolve it like that. Or it may be that you think, well, they are being deliberately provocative and being deliberately offensive. Right. And then you may want to give them an official warning, stop and decease, otherwise you'll be ejected. So I think it gives it gives us the ability to apply common sense. It's not saying it's an automatic you're out. It's mm. saying that yes. we can take the action we deem appropriate, which I think is where your 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 mediation or the common sense approach comes in, where a quiet word at the side is I mean, I think the challenge is that we're all online. A lot of this seems to have been written as if you're attending an event. Right, I think yeah. online can be a little bit more um, you, you're not seeing people, you're not seeing body language, and things can be taken a little bit more out of context because there is l less context to actually understand how the person's reacting towards you. Um, Michael, what do you think? Yeah, I was a little confused. I don't know if it's quite the right word, but a little confused by the the, the term events myself. Right. In terms of do is this an event? What is uh, it? It is. I mean, so we're I at least my interpretation, and, and when Diane and I talked about this, and when we've talked about this at other meetings, um, like for example, the CNCF, they actually have mentioned their code of conduct at the beginning of every streaming TV show that they do, and they say that this is considered this streaming TV show is considered. Okay an event of the CNCF. So I think it's sort of that thing. Now, I just noticed at the bottom that actually this, even though it was apparently run through a lawyer, uh, it's Creative Commons attribution and was pulled from the codes of conduct of uh, OpenStack, Puppet Labs, Ubuntu, Fedora Project, Elastic, uh, et cetera. So it looks like this was even pilfered from other people. Right. Um, so. Yeah, so it's Creative Commons, so we can we can use it and modify it as long as we give uh, proper notice. Okay. Do we define what an event is? is it... We don't, and okay. maybe that would be a helpful modification. Yeah, event. I right. they have some they listed up there somewhere. Uh, mailing lists. Code and documentation contributions, public IRC channels, private correspondence, and public meetings. There we go. Yeah. Code of conduct covers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can, we can tweak that. Okay. Well, so what do folks think? Is this a, a, a straw poll vote of everyone saying yes here? Is that uh, is that the gist? I, I'd like to. A bit redundant in places, but it's probably better to be redundant than not enough. Sure. Bruce. Um, well, I'd say I'll, I'll go along with it. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of a, even though I'm sitting in Canada, I, I am a strict First Amendment uh, free speecher. Uh, so uh, now, are you a, are you a native Kanakistani or are you uh, United I, States? I'm an imported one. Oh, okay, I see. And I don't didn't mean to offend anyone by saying Kanakistani. That's here in the United but, States. Yeah, and, and actually, people are. Like I've been to courses on microaggressions, which is sort of a related uh, woke topic, uh, and asking somebody about their origins is a, you know, typical microaggression. <laughs> well, I don't mean to microaggress. So, 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 so I could be offended by that uh, <laughs> if, if I were so inclined. There we go. Well, it matters. Or, or if I were yeah. gaming the system of, you know, from right. the, uh, right. of taking offense at everything. So yeah, right. no, I mean the. Uh, um, it, it's hard to get into most of those things while staying on topic with with our subject matter, fortunately. Um, and so my my feeling is it's not harmful, and uh, you know just, that's sort of also my feeling on the uh, uh, inclusive language. You know, if it doesn't hurt us, why not? Uh, you know, change. Uh, Whatever is the name that we can't say anymore of the of the main branch to Maine, 
etc. Although I, I've noticed that like the wildfly people, which is another Red Hat project, uh, don't seem to be doing that at all. Yeah. You know, looking at their uh, Git repositories, so it's it's a little bit inconsistent. But you know, why not? I don't have a problem with that. So I, I guess I'm similarly with this one. It probably is not going to hurt us, so I'm happy to go along with it. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily want to encourage it. So, you know, hand halfway up. I'm not going to vote against it, let's see. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll bring this to the main group uh, at the next meeting. And uh, I guess what we'll do is, um, uh, Michael, do you have a, a second between now and next week where you could lift this and change the references uh, from Ansible to uh, OKD uh, and any other context changes? Yeah, you yeah, need actually. an email that works as well that's related to us. Right, because yeah, we, yeah. we need a, uh, yeah. Report yeah, misconduct help. to Diane. Yeah, actually, we don't really have a, 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 a like, well, I guess the, well, no, you wouldn't want it on the general working group email because then that goes to everybody. It right. would have to be something like chairs. Yeah, all right. Uh, should we create an email address then? That's the chairs. Alias to slash That's Diane slash and I null. and if <laughs> well I, I you know I uh, my sense is that we, this stuff like this wouldn't be used a lot, but we probably should have a right. private email address then, which people can yeah we should yeah in all seriousness yeah it's a good idea yeah uh, and the chairs yeah, right it's now definitely more than one person yeah yeah it's myself Diane and. Vadim, actually, Christian is no longer a co-chair. He's just a, a, you know, a participating member. Um, okay, well, I will find out if we have resources to do that within Red Hats, or actually, we can ask Diane uh, to find out because well, I was just going to ask Vadim, but. Um, we'll ask Diane because she has all the communications things. So I'll take that as a task to ask Diane to ask around to see if Red Hat can provide an email address. Um, it might be that we, Michael, did you have something? I was just wondering if we had a mechanism outside of Red Hat for that email, that would, just from a liability yeah, perspective. Sure, that would be good. I, I don't know. I mean, we could set up a Google email. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we've got the Google group. You've got the, 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 the email list, so. Um, I'm, I'm guessing the other thing we could do is if we're going to set up an organization for Git, that might be an opportunity to create a, a, a similar linked email. Yeah. I wonder how, yeah, but we couldn't do the, do, we couldn't enter the, the domain of okd.io. It would have to be something else, right? Unless we could convince the uh, powers that be to route to a, the MX records to a different mail server than Red Hat's. So it would have to be a completely different domain. Right, unless we use the git email. Uh, addresses that you can generate. I don't know. Um, let's wait for Diane to chime in on this because there's a bunch of legal stuff that's wrapped up in this that I don't completely understand because on the one hand, it's it's an open source project, but a lot of stuff is pulling us in a separate direction away from the sponsor, which is Red Hat. And I don't know how much the sponsor of this project like wants to keep their hands in it and internal, external resources. Because um, she was going to find out about even being able to do a separate Git repository, and I haven't heard back on that yet. So let's shelve that until we, until we know better. Um, uh, well, well, I would say, Michael, go ahead and start working on it if you can. And just chip away at it as as time permits, and then we'll come up with an email solution. Sounds good. Plug that in there. Probably be um, twelve thirty. Next. Yeah. Half an hour before next meeting, I'll probably get to it. 
Sure, I understand. You know, and if you can't, mm -hmm. that's fine. This is um, an ongoing thing. Um, code of conduct, we did that. Uh, logo for slides, I got that. Um, let's see here. And you saw the video, actually. It's, it's a mini business session. We'll talk about that. Uh, Michael, did you take care of all of the 4.9 references? Yes, it should be. Next? Okay, so that's done. That should be good. Okay. It's all version now. Okay, yeah. And Mike, Michael, I just, I'm probably going to raise an, an issue on it tonight, but I just noticed that between 4.7, 4. 4. 4.8, and 4.9, the overt section in 4.7 is called RHV, so Red Hat Virtualization. It's been totally yeah. removed from 4.8, and it's called overt in 4.9. Oh, caca. So, so I'll probably I'll, I'll put a I'll put an issue in on that. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Thank I'll, you. Uh, so we four nine stuff in in main, which would be latest. Yeah, we yeah. Don't I mean, want I, that. I, yeah, I, I was I was going to say I, when you go to the documentation, it does say latest. So at the minute, for for us, that should be four eight. Yeah, our latest should be four eight because we haven't released four nine yet. Okay. So Michael, is it possible to pull latest out of the pull down? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that then, and just stop at four eight. Okay. Done. Oh, well done. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to have to wait for Twitter and Facebook for next steps because Diane was the one. Uh, um, uh, um, and new business, the video intro. Are folks happy with this? Uh, Diane isn't here to sign off on the whole font issue, but are folks happy with the intro video enough to where as long as there's no font issues, we can move forward with sticking at the beginning of the videos. And the link is broken. Oh, oh, whoops, there's some extra characters here. Hold on one sec. Okay, try now. I know that looks good, uh, and Mike should be able to read the letters. <laughs> right, oh, exactly. Yeah. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, that looks. Should the OKD be bigger and maybe bold too? Bigger uh... than working group? Uh, yeah, actually, I can I can do that to make it. It does it does seem a little sort of uh, backwards. So, yes, I can uh, I can do that. That's an easy fix. Like All right, and then we'll bring cool. it. Uh, well, I don't think the main group will care, so I'll just make that fix and run it by Diane. Because I'm what I've held off on putting videos in the past few weeks because I didn't want to put any more up with that gray uh, old slide. Long time ago. Um, all right. So, task list. Let's see. Um, we can actually change this task list. Uh, done. Code of conduct review is done. Uh, oh, code of conduct edit sandwich. And it's uh, Brian. What about uh, right up on the site automation? Is that uh, done? It's partially done. Um, okay. I'll leave it on there then. Don't. It's yeah, no leave, leave it on there. It should be done by next time. But I'm hope. I'm, 
been sort of holding off doing too much in, in case there's any issues with the with when it goes live. So I, I didn't want to actually do too much change, make too many changes to it. So. List. Um, code of conduct edits, write up guide on site automation, uh, manipulate charter me, and then uh, from Diane, we need Joel gather legal input, legal input on uh, Twitter, on um, external repo. And social media. Is there anything else in the task list uh, that we need to add? Or is that everything we've covered in the meeting? Right? Okay, well, we had an item last, uh, I guess, two weeks ago on uh, task boards. Uh, and uh, uh, I was having a look at that. And um, because I use uh, GitLab for my students, uh, you know, the, I was happy when very quickly up popped uh, GitLab references. Mm -hmm. And I was somewhat stunned. Uh, at the uh, level of happiness around GitLab that came in the uh, last week's meeting, uh, because I thought that everybody was totally on board with uh, GitHub, since all of our stuff is on GitHub. Uh, so, the uh, I guess from my personal standpoint, uh, if there's a good solution on GitLab, I'm happy with that. Uh, now, for us, uh, the uh, you know I can continue on with with general search, but uh, but I guess uh, uh, should we be considering moving to GitLab? I think I think the general consensus is that we can. Diane was going to do one last check to see if it's okay for us to to move the community stuff to an external repo. But I, my thought was the general consensus was that people are on board with GitLab. Does, uh, Michael, Brian, does that seem like your interpretation of the facts? I think the only thing that someone raised, I can't remember who was, was if there's any points of integration needed. Right. Then because all of the rest of the build system is on GitHub, would that cause us an issue down the line? I think some, we did talk about that, pro, that. That I don't know whether it will be an issue, whether we will ever have linkages, but probably that's, that's not. Only, since, yeah. yeah, that was the only thing that I I took as a negative from that whole discussion in in the main group. Yeah, yeah I think from a personal. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So I was just going to say from a personal thing. Um, if we're going to move the OKD side, um, I've never used GitLab, so just as long as the automation is similar, so we can do the GitHub pages equivalent and the automation's there to build it. Um, it'd be good if, if we just check that, Bruce, if you're familiar with that, if you can just confirm that those similar features, they may not be the same, but there's a, you can do the same thing, basically, then right. I can see no issue. Right. No, I think I think that's uh, a, an even more important point than the task board type thing. Um, yeah. Uh, wh why don't you? Uh, I'm in the middle of midterms this week, so it's it's a bit busy. But why don't you give me a task to see if I can get uh, the uh, the beta site running on GitLab? Okay. With with all and the then, associated uh, <clears throat> automation. And then it's. And then it's the bit that's yet to happen with GitHub, but GitHub supports is can Red Hat's DNS do a redirect and there's a C name that oh, yeah. I mean, GitLab it, it, will respond to, yeah. Right, yeah. That, shouldn't, that shouldn't be a problem, I wouldn't think. But uh, the whether or not the automation 
would work is, uh, uh, I guess, a significant issue. I, I wouldn't want to express an opinion without trying it. Sure. I think that's a good idea. All right. Anything else? It's a productive meeting. Quick and productive. All right. Well, uh, I will hit stop then on this, and um, we will uh, do our various tasks and meet back here in two weeks. And, of course, the regular meeting is um, next week. So with that, we'll end the meeting.